Guten Tag. This is the 2016 Mercedes-Benz V-Class by TJ. And I am not TJ, I am David the Nerd. Uh, also known as David02. So, this mod was just released today. Uh, also known as the Mercedes Metris. Uh, it has 190 horsepower, 325 pound-feet of torque, and I don't know what that is in whatever fucking meters because I'm not a communist, uh, 206 km an hour top speed, I don't know how to convert that to miles an hour, because, um, I don't, I don't speak communist, uh, it does 0 to 100 km an hour, so roughly 0 to 60 in 9.1 seconds, so it's a slow piece of shit like most minivans, has a 7 speed automatic transmission, but I don't think if you're buying a minivan you really give a shit about your transmission, uh, it has some fun seats in the back that show that so that you can face, uh, so that uh, your kids and their friends can face each other's while they play on their phones and don't pay attention to each other. You've got a TV screen back there so that your four-year-old can watch Aladdin while you drive and they can scream. Um, the wheels are very small for some reason and very low profile as if they expect people to drive this fast and really this is only going to be owned by your typical upper class, uh, your typical mid-upper class housewife with nothing better to do with her money than to buy a Mercedes minivan instead of the Dodge Grand Caravan Jan recommended to her. This mod, in all honesty, is actually very good. TJ's done a really good job with what he had. I mean, the models that he gets aren't that great, and he does he does make the most out of them. Um, I'm going to take a peek on the interior now. You can see I have the beige interior extra because just like most housewives i want the interior color that will be the hardest to clean the goldfish crumbs out of um see i did install the wood inserts extra but it clearly didn't work based on the fact that i have carbon fiber here now mod has seven extras it has the beige interior some camping accessories which i will uh i'll link a picture i'll of uh, these pictures there will be pictures of them in the description on the city car driving form topic it has a reverse camera that you can have in there but that does remove the the rear view mirror uh or the center rear view mirror that i kind of like having there um i just uh excuse me uh uh there's some different tinting options like uh you can have the whole car you can have all of the car minus the windshield you could have just the the back uh three windows or four windows whatever the the two on either side and then the rear window um yeah so that's that the steering wheel looks pretty typical for uh later mercedes it has that sort of weird looking shifter down there that looks more like a mouse like a like what's that apple magic mouse that they made like the uh the white one that had sort of the dome over it that nobody liked so they replaced really quickly and Mercedes has taken a page out of Volvo's book, if I can get my number pad to try to zoom in, but I can't. Uh, you can see there's the telephone numbers, which have been in Volvo's since the early 2000s, late 90s. So, I mean, I guess they're copying Volvo now. Um, there's a man walking next to my car. Uh, the windows look fine. You know, the textures are perfectly fine. There's really no problems. There's no shortage of Mercedes textures to choose from if you're having trouble. And the beige textures look perfectly fine, as indicated. Uh, by the quality we have come to expect from TJ, who has come a long way as a modder since his first mod a very long time ago. Now that I am done rambling about how much I disapprove of uh, Mercedes trying to make a minivan, something that I believe is uniquely American, and that the only thing that American manufacturers can do better than Europe, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a drive. You may notice there is some fantastic custom audio. This is some of the best custom audio ever made. That is my personal unbiased opinion. I would like to add that the custom audio is made by yours truly, and it is fantastic, unmatched by any other mod maker. Um, you might as well just stop trying once you hear this. So, now that we've shifted into drive, we can feel the uh, the underwhelming amount of power that you get from this uh, 190 horsepower engine. You know, brakes are pretty typically, uh, pretty muggy, like you would expect. Uh, I mean, the physics are 100% realistic. I mean, there's no reason why we shouldn't expect that by now from an experienced modder like, like TJ. I just took a sip of my drink as I'm going to pretend that I'm a, a housewife drinking coffee at 3.30 while I'm going to pick up my seven-year-old from school. Um, because what else is there to do? Um... I mean, I suppose if I wanted to, I could probably sit in the back and watch Ellen by myself streaming it from my iPad, and I've had every generation of iPad, because my husband hasn't known what to get me for years now. Um, 
see the mirrors look fine. There's no real problems there. I mean, there's no real problems with this mod. That's why I sort of have to crack jokes for the entire time. I mean, in my notes, I just have written, it's a Mercedes band. Rich people own it. It's silly. Mod authors, TJ, I made this sound, so good joke for the audience. Then talking about OBS crashing, which has happened multiple occasions when I've tried to record. See all the signs in my gamer and communist. I need to change that. Um. Anyway, I really don't understand what the appeal of this van would be to somebody outside of a European market. If you're in Europe, fine, you can buy this van. But like, if you're in America, I don't know why someone would own this. Anyway, you can see there's Netflix up on the screen there. Maybe I'll try driving through this, but I probably will crash before we get through the first stoplight. It's kind of a cool camera angle, actually. But you can see there's speakers lining there to absolutely blast the shit out of the new radio edit of my favorite Ariana Grande song, uh, because she's the cleanest that I will let my children listen to. Um, or I should say the dirtiest that I will let my children listen to. Former Nickelodeon stars, her and Selena Gomez are my personal favorites. Uh, plenty of room in the back for uh, my son's soccer bag that I don't know why he has, considering he's just a bench warmer on his third grade soccer team, which is pretty embarrassing. But uh, in all seriousness, that was sort of my position even in first grade. That's why I make city car driving videos instead of do sports. And well, I'm on the debate team if that, that counts to you as a sport. And holy shit, is this light taking too long? I'm just gonna keep honking, even though the light is okay. Okay, I'm gonna cut in front of this Ford Focus because Ford Focus drivers deserve to be penalized for owning such a piece of shit. Let's get it on the highway and feel that truly sluggish acceleration from full throttle. Note that in the position of the housewife that would own this car in America, uh, my husband would never drive this car since he probably has like an Audi A6 or something that uh, he has to make sure the kids aren't wearing dirty shoes when they get into it because he cares about the condition of the car that he's going to sell for not enough money uh, to get the next model up in a couple years anyway. I don't know if I mentioned this, but this car is sold under a different name in America, the Mercedes Metris. Um, I've actually never seen one of these, but allegedly they're kind of popular in Europe. I don't, I don't know if anybody can confirm that. That'd be lovely. Um, yeah, as expected... It's taken a while to get up to 120, and now I'm just going to weave through traffic. Uh, this is my midlife crisis. Weaving through traffic and not hitting anything. And thanks to the force feedback in city car driving, this is way harder than it should be. Um, we're going to just ride out this lane until this bitch in a Lexus gets out of my fucking way. Okay, perfect. Cruising at a steady 140. Top speed 206. Let's try to get it up to the top speed. Extremely disappointingly low revving motor. It's probably the most American thing I can call it since we think that engines are called motors. No, the motor is what would drive the wheels, not necessarily the power making mechanism, but just the drive of the wheels. Anyway, I think that's about top speed. Downhill, we just got it up to about 210, but. We're pretty much rolling at max. We're just going to go to the end of the highway and we'll call it a day. I hope this video has been entertaining enough. I mean, it's kind of hard to find decent content to put out for city car driving. And maybe if you are rather... Oh, that Lex... All right, we'll call it a day from there since this bitch in Alexis again has decided that she wants to break checkmate. Probably because she's jealous that I now have a car more worth more than hers. Anyway, this is a good mod. Download it. I mean, there's no reason not to at this point, considering the shortage of city car driving mods. To download, this is a very good mod. Uh, it's very lu luxurious for... If you want to simulate being a housewife, you can definitely download this, but warning, it is an upper middle class. If you want to be a uh, middle class to uh, working class housewife, you're going to have to make yourself a 97 Dodge Grand Caravan mod because the Chrysler Town and Country was bought by smart people. Well, so was the Grand Caravan, but for some reason there's more of those on the used market. Anyway, I hope this video was moderately enjoyable. If it was, I'll try to make a few more. And if it wasn't, I'm still going to make more, because honestly, this is the most fun I've had making a video in a long time. I think I'm, I'm, I amuse myself quite a bit. 
So thanks for watching. Have a very swell day.